Good morning and welcome to Lloyd's of London. My name is Group Captain Duncan Wellham. I'm a retired helicopter pilot, having served 27 years in Her Majesty's Royal Air Force. But for the last 10 years, I've been working here in the insurance community here in the City of London. And you joined us this morning as the underwriting room here at Lloyd's starts to fill up. And this is the time when the insurance community and elements around the city come together for our short but poignant act of remembrance here at Lloyd's. The ceremony itself has been going on now since just after the Second World War. And we're expecting about 6,000 people from the insurance community to be here in the building with us, joining us in this act of remembrance. Phones are being turned off. Escalators are being brought to a halt. And as you see, there won't be much space in a few minutes' time across the floor here at Lloyd's as some 6,000 people come together. The ceremony itself um, follows that which I hope you'll be familiar with from Remembrance Sunday at the Cenotaph. We'll start this morning in a few minutes with a recital from the Lloyd's Choir. And then on parade will come our three services, starting with the Royal Navy, the Army, and then the Royal Air Force. And once they're established on parade, we'll then be joined by dignitaries representing various organisations and establishments across the Lloyd's community, but also across the city as well. We'll then go through the act of remembrance. There'll be a two minute silence here in the underwriting room. Before wreaths are then laid. And at the end of the ceremony, the parade will retire. So as we wait here, we we'll hope you're picking up these pictures of everybody arriving here. And the actual ceremony will start in approximately three or four minutes' time. Here, arriving in the shot here, you can see the Lord Mayor of London. The Lord Mayor himself, Mr Charles Bowman, is the 690th Lord Mayor that the city has had. And actually this will be the last time he wears his robes because this is the last official function he'll be carrying out as Lord Mayor. Later today, he'll be handing over to the 691st Lord Mayor of London, Mr Peter Eslin. As you can see, every floor is filling up. Every space to view the rostrum is now being occupied as the insurance community comes together.
We're delighted, obviously, to be joined by veterans today. And as we can see, sat there are the various VIPs and dignitaries representing organisations from across the city. Obviously today is a very special occasion because the country is coming together to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War. Elements there in shot of the Royal Navy from HMS President. As we see now, the Lloyd's Choir are taking up their post in front of the rostrum. The Lloyd's Choir, founded in 1922, comprises approximately 75 voices drawn from across the Lloyds of London and City community. Under the direction since 1995 of Jack Cohen, Jack has put the music that we'll hear today to the words of Wilfred Owen's anthem for the doomed youth. A lone bugler there we saw from the rifles and the Queen's Colour Squadron from the Royal Air Force starting to form up. Under the direction there, Mr Marcus Simeone, you can see there, who is absolutely instrumental in putting today's ceremony together. He's a member of the Committee of the Royal British Legion, Lloyds and City Branch.
So as the Lloyd's choir leave the marble, having performed a fantastic recital and really setting the tone for today's act of remembrance. And it's great to think these, the team here are drawn from across the insurance community. They are not professionals, but they give their time to acts such as these. So as we see elements from the Queen's Scarlet Squadron starting to prepare to move on to the raid. Mayor there in his red robes and behind him Mr. Bruce Carnegie Brown the chairman of Lloyd's So as the wreath-laying parties start to assemble at the rear of the rostrum, we'll now be joined by our military contingent, starting first with the Royal Navy. You're seeing there elements from HMS President. The reserve unit here, very close to us at Tower Bridge. And as they move into line and dress off, we're delighted that HMS President always gives us their time to come and join us on this special day. With the Royal Navy now in place, next in seniority will be the Army. And today we're seeing elements from the largest regiment in the British Army, the Rifles. And on parade will be seven rifles. There are the London and South East Reserve Battalion. As you can see, they march at 140 beats in the minute instead of the, like the rest of the army who move at 120 beats. And there they are in place. And the final element coming into position at the rear of the rostrum will be my own service, the Royal Air Force, represented by the Queen's Colour Squadron. Based at RAF Northolt, the Queen's Colour Squadron have been very active this year and this the 100th year of the Royal Air Force. which was founded on April Fool's Day, the 1st of April, 1918. And to set the scene, moving on to the marble, is Mr. Ian Allen, 
formerly of the Royal Tank Regiment, playing a fitting lament as we get a very closer to the 11th hour and our active remembrance. Taking up positions now, we're seeing dignitaries drawn from across various representations of here in the city, including, as you see there, elements from the Royal Navy, Army and Air Force. Days will grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. That was Mr. Mark Drummond Brady.
So as we witness the ending of the falling of 30,000 poppies from the top of the atrium, we'll now see wreaths laid on behalf of the various organisations across the city. And first up, the chairman of Lloyd's, Mr Bruce Carnegie Brown, followed by the Lord Mayor of London, Mr Charles Bowman. They retire and pay their respects. Next forward, Mr Mark Drummond Brady, representing the Royal British Legion, Lloyds of London and City Branch, and also Deputy Alderman of Lime Street Ward, Elizabeth Regula. The Lloyds Patriotic Fund, with the Chairman James Kinnemuth, and Mr Simon Beale from MS Amber. Representing the Royal Navy, the Army, and the Royal Air Force, we have Captain Ian McNaught, the last captain of the QE2, and now representing Trinity House. Captain Rudy Van Dale Kennedy of Seven Rifles. And also Wing Commander Ashley Bennett from the Royal Air Force. And with the lutein bell rung for the final time, this signifies the end of our short act of remembrance here at Lloyd's. And as we see, the dignitaries now move off, along with the standard of the Royal British Legion of the Lloyd's and City Branch. The parade will prepare to retire. Marching off first, the Royal Navy from HMS President. The rifles march off. Again at their 140 beats per minute. And we can see also retiring there the Queen's Colour Squadron. And with our lone piper now signifying the end of the ceremony, retires from the marble. So as you can hear now, the room is starting to come back to life. Having spent a short time 
thinking about those that have given great service to the country and have died in years gone past. So it only concludes for me to say thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you've felt the emotion that's been here in the room. And it only concludes for me, Duncan Wellham, to say thank you and wish you a very good morning.